Tina, it's not just one set of numbers or another set of numbers, and that's what makes this very complicated. When I had a chance to speak with Dr. Eileen Davila today, she pointed out just that. So let's have a look at the overall numbers to start, and we'll explain why. First, the total number of COVID cases in Toronto right now are at 13,420. Just 90 new cases reported in Toronto today. You have a look at the recovered numbers and the number of deaths as well. But that's not the whole story. Mayor John Tory and Dr. Eileen Davila said that much more needs to be done and they want to be extra cautious before taking that next step. And we heard that from the province today as well. Here's what Mayor Tory had to say about wanting to wait a little bit more. Stage two will come soon. But I want it to come when it is safe for everyone and for their families and for their uh, staff members based on professional medical advice that has guided us well throughout this pandemic and has saved many lives and stopped many people from getting sick. Now have a look at this and the trend downwards on this graph. The one thing Toronto Public Health has been looking for is a decrease in new case numbers over 14 days. This is May 29th to June 11th, just one day with a slight uptick. But when I asked why this wasn't enough, Dr. Eileen Davila says it's not just cases that need to trend in that direction. It's a question of making sure that our systems are all ready to go so that we can do this in a safe and successful way uh, and so that we don't have to take a step backwards. I think these are the important considerations beyond focusing on any one figure or number. Some good news for bars and restaurants at this point. The official registration and application process for Cafe TO that gives people an opportunity to expand their patio space once there is an opportunity to open up and again, we're waiting for that date. There was an indication from Mayor John Tory today saying he wants that to happen by Canada Day, so there could be some good news next week. And with more on that and how restaurants are waiting, Malia Sheikh is standing by. Malia.